In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a professional business email address with Gmail. Well, we are in 2022 and you don't want to keep using an email like this one. Rather, you want to have a professional business email like this one. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get your own professional email address with Gmail completely for free. Hello guys, this is Sonic here at Tickle Pages Web, where I do web tutorials just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That's it. Let's jump into the video. So to get a professional business email with Google, you need to get a web hosting. And in this video, I'm recommending Asura Hosting where you can start with $1 per month. I'll leave a link to Asura Hosting in the description down below. You can check it out to get your own web hosting. So when you get a hosting with Asura, you'll be given a cPanel like this one. You can also feel free to use whatever web hosting platform you already have. So first of all, we need to create an email address using our cPanel. So I'm in the Asura Hosting dashboard. I go over to Email Manager. Then I click on email accounts. Already I have one email account created. So I just go ahead and click on create account. In here under username, you enter whatever name you want to use so that it will be, for example, info at dikupagesweb.com or swadik at dikupages.com. Whichever name you want to use, you decide. So I'll click in here and I'll enter info. Then it will be info at dikupagesweb.com. In here, I can go ahead and choose my password or I'll just click in here to get a system generated password. I'll enter mine. So I've entered my password. I just go ahead and click on create account. Hooray, account created. So in here, I have the email address, my password, my POP server, and then my SMTP server. Awesome. So take note, these are the information we we'll use in order to link our email address with Google. So you may want to have a copy of this information. So I'll just go ahead and copy it. And I'll paste it in Notepad for now. I click to exit. So with this email, if I want to check my emails, I can just click on this icon right here. And it will open in a new tab. So I'm in my inbox now. The next thing I'm going to do is go over to my Gmail account. Then I'll go over to settings. Click on it. I click on see all settings. Next, I go ahead and click on accounts and imports. Now under send mail as, click on add another email address. Then in here, you go ahead and enter your email address. So I'll just copy it from my notepad. And I'll go ahead and paste it. Take note, this is the name your users will see when you send them an email. I want to enter Diku Pages. Then I'll go ahead and click on next step. In here, I need to enter my SMTP server. So I have it right here, which is the same as what I already have in here. And the port should be 587. Let's confirm that port 587. Awesome. In here, the username, I enter my email address again. Then I go ahead and enter the password in here. I'll use TLS, which is recommended. And I go ahead and click on add account. So in here, I need to verify my email. So I need to check the email address I created. That is info at dikupagesweb.com. So first of all, I will restore this down. Then I go back to the email I created, take note, and I have my Gmail confirmation message in here. I go ahead and click on it and here is my confirmation code. I just go ahead and copy it. Now I open the confirmation dialog box, paste in the code, click on verify. Now our email address is connected with Google. The next thing I'm going to do is add my email address again so that I'll be able to check mail from this particular email address. So next, I go ahead and click on add email account and I check email from other accounts. So in here, I enter my email address. Click on next. So it will be required to import emails from my other account. So I click on next. So in here, under username, I enter my email address again. 
I go ahead and enter my password. And then the POP port, I'm going to use 995. And I'm going to use always use a secure connection. Then I click on add account. So now if we go back to our email, that is the professional one we created. The previous message will not be in here anymore, which means it has been moved to our Gmail account. Let's check it out. I click on inbox and I have it in here. So it will come as a fresh message. Awesome. So the next thing I'm going to do is compose a new message. So I click on compose. So the from email will be my default Gmail address. I drop down the arrow and I can choose my professional email address. In the from name, take note is Diku Pages. Then I go ahead and enter the recipient email. The subject will be test mail. And then the body, hi there. I click on send. Message sent. Now let me go ahead and check the other email. And I have my test email in here from Diku Pages. I go ahead and click on it. You see the title, the sender's name, the email address from which it was sent, and the message. I can reply to the message, and the reply message will go directly to my professional email, which is already linked to Gmail. Thanks for your message. Click on send. So that's it on how to create a professional business email and linking it to your Google account. I hope this video was helpful. If you found value, kindly hit the like button, subscribe, and also enable the notification bell so that you won't miss out on future videos. Keep watching and I'll see you in the next one.